China has broken ground on a project that aims to put miles of solar panels in space and use them to power a massive microwave emitter that will hang 23,000 miles up in the sky. Here is hoping that the giant microwave beam does not go off target and start frying miles of Earth's surface. Here are the details. The Times reports that China's government plans to launch a fleet of mile-long solar panels into space by 2035 and beam the energy back to Earth. The basic concept involves a space station with a solar array to convert solar energy into electrical energy. Then it would use the microwave transmitter or laser emitter to transmit the energy to a collector on Earth. The Earth-based station will then transfer the microwave energy back into electrical energy from where it would be fed into the grid. As part of this ambitious project, Beijing has broken ground on the new Bishan Space Solar Agency station in the city of Chongqing. The station will begin tests by the end of the year, with the hope of having a functioning 1 megawatt solar energy station by 2030. By 2050, China plans to have the station fully operational and producing a gigawatt of power, the same output as the largest nuclear reactor in China. Space-based solar systems can be much more efficient because it's always sunny in space, and the sunlight does not get filtered by Earth's atmosphere and clouds. The idea of space-based solar power stations has been around since 1941. Science fiction writer Isaac Asimov first wrote about them in the short story Reason. In the story, he wrote about a space station that transmits energy collected from the sun to various planets by using microwave beams. A number of concept designs were created in the 1970s, but none were deemed economically viable. The Independent newspaper reports that the Pentagon has been using its secretive X-37B space plane to test a solar panel that could one day beam electricity to Earth. The Photovoltaic Radio Frequency Antenna Module, or PRAM for short, is currently the size of a pizza box, but the technology could be scaled up in order to send massive amounts of clean and renewable energy to Earth via microwaves, possibly even enough energy to power whole cities. The test panel was launched into orbit last year aboard the space plane. It absorbs blue light energy from sunlight that cannot pass through the Earth's atmosphere. This means it's able to harness solar energy much more effectively than terrestrial setups. The test panel is only capable of capturing and transmitting around 10 watts of energy back to Earth, enough to power a phone or tablet. However, if the system scales up successfully, the technology could deliver significant amounts of power to remote regions of the globe, as well as provide electricity during natural disasters and emergencies. Construction has begun on what will become the largest solar energy generation facility in the U.S. Once it's fully operational, the Samsung Solar Energy Center will generate 1,013 megawatts of renewable energy, making it considerably larger than the 690 megawatt Gemini Solar Project near Las Vegas. The Samsung Solar Farm is being developed by Invenergy, a Chicago-based developer of electricity generation and storage facilities. The company says in a press release that when complete, the solar farm will produce enough energy to power nearly 300,000 American homes. The project will span 6,734 acres in Lamar Red River and Franklin counties. It will be built in five phases, each of which will begin operating upon completion. The full project is scheduled to become operational in 2023. Invenergy says it has already signed agreements with five major consumer brands and the Texas cities of Bryan, Denton, and Garland to use the solar farm's energy. According to the Natural Resources Defense Council, solar power provided 2% of America's electricity in 2019, wind power provided 8%, and hydropower 7%. Despite its vast size and large population, Texas ranked only fourth among U.S. states in production of solar energy. With a capacity of 3,115 megawatts, California was first at 20,632 megawatts. Texas did lead in production of wind energy at 17,946 megawatts, compared to fourth place California at 6,144 megawatts. The Telegraph reports that a secretive startup backed by Bill Gates has achieved a solar breakthrough that could really help the planet. The company, called Heliogen, has discovered a way to use artificial intelligence and a field of mirrors to reflect so much sunlight that it generates extreme temperatures above 1,000 degrees Celsius. This is much more heat than traditional solar farms can produce, making it the first version of concentrated solar technology capable of baking cement and melting steel and glass. Taking into account that high-temperature industrial processes like these create more than 20% of global emissions, one realizes how much the technology can help mankind. Heliogen uses computer vision software, automatic edge detection, and other sophisticated technology to train a field of mirrors to reflect solar beams to a very small spot. The idea is to use AI to control hundreds of mirrors 
layers and align them with much more precision than before, thereby creating much higher temperatures. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.